The debates throughout the 70s over the minimum educational requirements for a registered nurse convinced the administration of the hospital and the staff of the school that if it were to survive, it must become a college. Pressure by students also contributed to this decision. Students were increasingly interested in uh, higher education in f formal settings that offered a baccalaureate or associate degree, and the whole realm of nursing practice had changed. The transition would not be an easy one. At the time, we were relatively naive, and we really thought that you could just take uh, this diploma program and create a baccalaureate curriculum and voila, you would have uh, a baccalaureate program. As it turned out, what it meant was becoming a college, not just transforming the curriculum. So uh, the baccalaureate program was um, started in 1981 with admission of first class, but there was a very intensive period about, of about four years preceding this during which planning uh, uh, was underway with attempts to work out uh, affiliation arrangements and joint degree uh, arrangements with other institutions in the Bay Area. St. Mary's College proved to be the institution that was um, selected for this uh, joint arrangement and that um, cooperative venture has continued uh, since 1977 to the present time. This joint degree arrangement which became the Intercollegiate Nursing Program allowed students to gain an excellent liberal arts education as well as a rigorous professional education grounded in clinical experience. In 1984, the first baccalaureate class graduated and the college received accreditation, becoming one of the first former hospital schools to successfully make the transition. Changes were taking place outside the college as well. In 1982, Merritt Hospital merged with Peralta Hospital, its former rival across the hill, to form Merritt Peralta Medical Center. Then in 1985, the Health Education Center opened, providing the college and medical center with a much needed library, auditorium, resource lab, and with increased classroom space. With nursing education as its only lifeblood, the sudden drop in enrollment in nursing programs across the country in the mid-80s plunged the college into crisis. Out of that crisis then came um, the decision that we could not be single purpose, um, that we needed to expand our educational offerings. And the first expansion was within the nursing program itself. This led to the development of the Fast Track Program, an accelerated nursing degree program for college graduates. The second expansion was in the development of the graduate program in physical therapy. And the third expansion is in graduate programs in nursing. With the graduation of the first physical therapy class in the fall of 1992, Samuel Merritt's commitment to educating a wider range of healthcare professionals was firmly established.